I love saving you guys money whenever it's possible to do so, especially this time of year where you're spending a bunch of money on presents and, and going out to dinner with friends and family and, and all the Black Friday deals and everything. Your fragrance hobby might start to have to, to go to the back burner a little bit during this time because you've got money going to a whole bunch of different places. But I always like to try to bring to light some amazing affordable clones so that way you can still kind of enjoy the hobby, but it's significantly less stressful when you're spending less money. That's also why I post deals on my community tab. So that way, when you guys are shopping for something, you can be confident that you're getting the lowest price. It never feels good to buy something and then look at another website and see that you could have gotten it for $20, $25 cheaper, right? And that's what I'm trying to help you avoid doing. So check the community tab every day. If you wanna get those deals via email, you can sign up at the link down below. Everything rare from Dior Own Parfum, Guerlain Lome Ideal Extreme, all of these rare gems are ones that you can own own if you watch the deals. And today in specific, I'm going to be talking about some of the strongest projecting fragrance clones that you can get. These have been getting better and better. We've had some really, really solid clone releases within the past few years. And these here happen to be some of the strongest ones that I own currently. So I will link these down below. If you want to get your fix for projection and you want to save yourself a lot of money in the long run by picking up some of these over the much more expensive originals, you're in the right place. I want to get it kicked off with Paris Corner Wild and Tobacco. So this one here, you know, I probably don't have to explain it, but this is a red tobacco clone by Mancera. This line with this style of bottle uh, seems to be kind of the Mancera clone line. I don't have all of them yet, but so far it's three for three. They have Sidrat Essence, Sidrat Boise, they have uh, Super Crush, which is Instant Crush, and now Wild and Tobacco, which is a little bit of a weird name, but nonetheless, it's red tobacco. So you get a bunch of tobacco, no kidding. A little bit of oud, a little bit of a fruitiness actually, which does make sense given the name here. This is almost a dead ringer. It's about as close as you can get. And the performance on this stuff is just about as impressive as red tobacco. It's not quite there. <laughs> red tobacco is already a huge super beast mode scent. But I mean, this is still so far above average compared to most other fragrances in this price point of 30 to $35. Definitely a must own if you want a strong performing red tobacco alternative on the affordable side. Next up, we have Afnan 9 p.m. So this is an ultra male clone by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So that one's kind of a little bit controversial anymore because of reformulation and that sort of thing. Uh, personally, I what I own hasn't been affected by the reformulation, so I can't really give my full on information on it when I don't have that information right now. Uh, but a lot of people do tend to say that their newer bottles don't work that well. And so my advice is don't buy ultra male and spend 80, 90 bucks if, if you're kind of worried about it and just get this for anywhere from like 25 to 30, $35. It kind of varies. Uh, any price below 50 is good in my opinion, even 60, because it does really perform really, really strong and has great performance, a great longevity, and very close to ultra male. I mean, it's impressive. It's not exactly the same, none of these are, and it'll never replace ultra male for me, but for people who struggle with the performance and you won't want to play it safe and just go ahead and get one that you have a kind of a better chance of it performing better on, you might just want to go for this. Next up, a niche clone yet again. This is Oud for Glory by Latafa, and this is a clone of Oud for Greatness by Initio, which is relatively expensive even on discounters. This is not, however, and it is very close. It has a bunch of oud, some saffron, some other woods going on in here as well, a little bit of a sweetness to it, but it's very oud heavy as you would expect. So do be careful with that, and it's not gonna be for everybody, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more mature so far. Uh, but if you do like Initio's Oud for Greatness, you don't want to fork over the money, or maybe you already have and you want to have something that's more affordable that you can wear more often and not cringe every time you spray out of your expensive bottle, you could go for this. It is a strong projector. It fills up a room. This can get obnoxious very quickly, so make sure you get comfortable with the number of sprays that you do so you don't completely drive yourself crazy and other people around you because it's very strong. Next up, we have Afnan Highness 3 Green. So this is a Creed Royal Oud clone uh, mixed with a little bit of some, some green notes in here as well that Royal Oud is, doesn't really have. 
And that's what I like about this is it's very much a clone, but it's also somewhat original to some extent, some small extent, you know, and that's what I think is admirable about this to me is I have Royal Oud. That one's getting harder to get though. You can't get it on discounters anywhere. Retail's the only option and I don't recommend that. So uh, if you're looking to get that DNA, personally, I would just say put your money into this. $60 versus whatever it retails for Royal Oud. I don't know, 400 and something plus. So definitely put your money here. And while it's not exactly the same, it's a little bit of a twist. And sometimes I kind of crave this one instead. Uh, it just is a little bit of a different take on that DNA, which I already love. And it's got great projection and for that matter, great longevity. Next up, we have Paris Corner Fire Your Desire. So very cool bottle, nice little tassel there. Definitely looks fancy. It looks expensive, even though it's not um, under or around, I would say, $30. I can't remember what I paid for this. Picked a few of them up at the same time. Uh, but out the door, I bought, I think, three or four clones, and they were Paris Corner, and I didn't end up spending a lot of money. I mean, these go a long way. A little bit of money can go a long way and get you some really cool things. Now this is a Killian's Angels Share clone. Killian Angels Share clone. Now Latafa Kamra is a very popular Angels Share clone, but that goes out of stock often. It's a great one. It's a little bit further away from Angels Share though. This one actually is a little bit closer. So if you are after a more dead on clone is about as dead on as you can get. I would go for this and it's also easier to get. So yeah, great DNA, a nice boozy, sweet gourmand fragrance that works great in the fall and winter time. And this in particular happens to have great projection. Let's keep it moving with Afnan Tarathi Brown. So uh, I've discovered this one more so recently. Uh, and this is a mustache eau de parfum slash YSL tuxedo clone. I think it leans further in the direction of mustache because it uses more vanilla than tuxedo. So that's kind of why I call it a clone of a mustache, which obviously that would then make it a clone of a clone. It sounds stupid, but it is closer to mustache than tuxedo. But ultimately it's still just super close to that tuxedo DNA and therefore is just kind of a clone of whatever smells like tuxedo basically. And you can't go wrong with it. Uh, the What I've been telling people is between mustache and, and uh, Afnan Tarathi Brown, get whichever one is more affordable. If this is more affordable, then get this one. You can't go wrong with any of them as long as it's more affordable than tuxedo. In this instance here though, projection does outdo mustache. So if you're just going off of accuracy, either one doesn't matter. Projection wise and maybe even longevity wise. I've been having really good luck with this. It's still too soon to tell I've been wearing mustache much longer than this but so far in the projection category This one is kind of has a little bit of an edge Alrighty up next we have Al Harmain Amber Oud Gold Edition. So this is a clone of Zerjoff Herba Pura which was originally Sospiro Herba Pura before they discontinued all Sospiro and just moved it over to Zerzhov. Not really sure what their idea behind that was, but I guess it doesn't matter. All the scents stayed the same and all of that. Herba Pura is a monstrous kind of sweet, fruity fragrance. It's very fruity and people would call it a summer scent, but it's something where I would never wear it out in the summer heat because it would just get way too cloying and way too annoying. And that's the same thing here with this. Uh, this has the projection and the longevity to cut through the coldest of winter days, even though it's fun and kind of sweet and fruity and playful. Uh, so it really is impressively close to that scent. And even in performance categories, it is very close to Herba Pure as well. I mean, this stuff is a beast. Next up, we have a Creed Aventus and Nishane Hasavat hybrid. Uh, big fan of this. It's Afnan Supremacy Not Only Intense. So this is kind of labeled online as a Supreme or Premium Aventus clone. Again, I think it's more so a combination of the two that I just mentioned because uh, Hasavat has a lot of oak moss and sweet, heavy pineapple. It's much more sweet overall. And Aventus itself has more apple, more birch, uh, more musk, uh, and it's a little bit lighter. To me, Creed Aventus is a summer scent. I wear it heavily and extensively in summertime. That's 
basically where I get the majority of wearings from it from. Hasavat, I've done it before in the summer. I've had to scrub it off. It's a little bit too much. So this kind of combines the best of both worlds into something that is still much more affordable, uh, usually on discounters, $55, $60. It is a parfum concentration and it is a beast. Running down to the end, we have Toscano Leather by Alhambra or Maison Alhambra or Paris Corner. That's what it is. It's just one of their subsidiaries, I guess, is kind of uh, what they do. And a couple other clone brands have been doing the same thing. So whatever you want to call it. And this is without a doubt, just by looking at the bottle, a clone of Tuscan leather and the name, obviously. Um, but that only means so much. They can name it this, they can make it look like this, but does it really smell like Tuscan leather? Yes, it actually does. And I wouldn't say that if it didn't, uh, because there's another really good clone out there for Tuscan leather called Rasasi La Yukawam. Now, that could be in the video as well. It's a little bit more expensive, usually $60 or so, even on discounters. Still, compared to the Tom Ford, that's nothing. But this is about half that and still gives you great results, great accuracy, great projection, great longevity, and personally, I think better presentation. Yeah, it's a straight up clone of the presentation as well as the scent. And again, the name, so uh, they aren't holding back. If you're on a budget and you really wanna stay tight with your money and you want a Tuscan leather clone, you can't go wrong with this one. And we're gonna end this with another Aventus fragrance just because I can. And uh, well, <laughs> it is, uh, what is it, uh, Latafa? I always forget, it's not even on the bottle. Latafa Rave Now Eau de Parfum Black, basically. Um, yeah, again, their name is not on this at all, which I find to be strange, but I think it's Latafa, could be wrong. Now this is Creed Aventus, but pineapple, fruit, sweetness and syrupiness to the max. So not in the direction of Hasavat where there's a ton of oak moss as well. This is brighter, fresher pineapple. Like the pineapple cord in here literally smells like you opened up a can of Dole pineapple juice and just shoved it up to your nose and smelled it. Impressive, seriously impressive. It's very smooth, a little bit sweet. Again, it's just a Ventus, but fruits galore without going too heavy like Hasabat. That's kind of how I look at this one. And ultimately, at the end of the day, the projection is great, the longevity is great, and the compliments on this are gonna be pretty much unbeatable. I mean, this DNA just works. It's gonna be more mass pleasing than uh, Supremacy, not only intense because it still does go in that even more fruity Aventus direction with less of the oak moss heaviness. Uh, in the summertime, this one will warm up and light up and smell amazing and project even more. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 of the strongest projecting fragrance clones that you can buy on the market. I will link all these down below. And remember, I will have deals going up on my community tab every day, all day long. And if you wanna get those via email so you don't miss out, you can use the link down below and sign up. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.